Plus, this is what you see when you open up the course. This is the announcements. These are my dogs, which may or may not stay there the whole course. Um, announcements will get added here as needed. Uh, reminders for uh, assignments that might come due or exams that are coming up. So you should always be checking here. You will also usually get uh, email um, email announcements when assignments are due. You should, or when announcements change, you should be checking your email um, every, at least twice a week to see what's happening. In course information, you have information of just kind of an overview of the course, what's going on. Each week, um, you'll be reviewing chapters and PowerPoints, outlines, of each chapter, um, looking at anything that additional information that comes with that chapter, either through Blackboard or Wiley Plus, taking a quiz um, without using your notes or your textbook, and then you'll also be going into discussion. You may or may not have an exam. Then also underneath course information, you will find the course outline, and the course syllabus. What you need to know for the most part is what's on the course syllabus. The course outline is something that gets defined for all 125 courses on campus. The course syllabus is what you need to know as far as my class goes, what needs to be done. There's Mary. These are my office hours and where my office is. Uh, my email address, which is probably one of the most important things you'll find on here. It is by far the easiest way to contact me, um, especially if you're not someone who comes to campus very often. If you do try and email me, um, please give at least 25 or 24 hours before you start emailing me back saying, where are you, where are you? I'm not someone that keeps my email on my cell phone, so I don't get constant notifications when I get new emails. So let's go over here to week by week. This is by far where you will be spending most of your time in this course. You'll go in for each week. This is this week. This is another video that you should have already watched. Here's where you are now. Those won't happen each week. But what you will see is what chapters you need to read every other week. There will only be one chapter. But because chapter one is an introduction for the most part, I did put two chapters in this week. Then you will get a PowerPoint and an outline for each chapter. These are to be considered guidelines for you. But by no means should they be considered exhaustive of the chapter for all the information you need to know. How I would use these is, and you may not need both of them, but just may need whichever one you prefer, um, is print them out and then take notes on them as you read the chapter. That's what I would use them for. Then you will have a quiz on the chapters that you read and studied. You should not be using textbook or notes when you're taking these quizzes. You do have, they are timed quizzes. You do get one question at a time and there's no backtracking. That's done in an effort to try and limit cheating, basically. Let's be completely honest, that's why it's there. I do recommend that you take these quizzes on campus or someplace else with reliable internet so that you don't keep getting timed out. Um, I will reset a quiz that has timed out on you once in the semester, but if you keep coming back to me and saying that your quiz timed out, I'm going to start to not believe you. Um, the quizzes are pulled from pools, by the way, so if you do tell me your quiz times out, you're going to get a different quiz when you try again. Then what you will have to do is go into over here in the menu, the discussion board, 
for the week and post an answer to the question of the week. A lot of times these deal with the I, um, I profile component of the course, if there is one, they'll relate back to I profile, which I'll describe in a minute. I mentioned it in the first video. Um, you will not be able to see anyone else's post until you post yourself. So that way you can't glean off of other people's posts. That will keep everyone's posts original. It you, you, it's up to you to make your words valuable and having educated content. Discussion posts, um, generally, if you just answer the question, you're going to get about 8.5 out, out of 10. If you add in outside references, valuable references, not including the textbook, then you're going to approach like a 9.5 or a 10 out of a 10. Week out of week. So scrolling down, we looked at, read the chapter, we took notes on it on these, we took our quiz, we went to the discussion board. Now we have Wiley Plus instructions. There is a YouTube video right here which will explain to you how to hook up to Wiley Plus. Also in this chapter, we have an additional Wiley Plus assignment that you can go into. Um, these assignments, these additional Wiley Plus assignments are not graded. Those are only for your educational value and to help you gain more, better understanding of the textbook information and the course information. I highly recommend you take them and I do highly recommend you still do the quizzes because it'll help make sure that you do understand what's going on. I'm going to zoom ahead to a week that does have an eye profile just to show you. So here after discussion it says there's an eye profile. So then um, it will go ahead and explain to you. It'll You'll go into Wiley Plus and it will tell you. I think I actually have in week two. If I don't, I'll put one there. So here it'll explain to you how to get to Wiley Plus, where you'll have to enter diet information and do calculations and answer questions. Then that'll be the quiz, and that grade will go directly into Blackboard. Okay, and then you'll see here on chapter three, here's additional. Oh, because I, I'm in student view right now, which is not what I am, um, I can't view because I'm a registered instructor, <laughs> not a registered student. So I can't actually really show you that unless I'm in instructor view, in Blackboard, not student view. So that should get you started. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks.